When I'm designing a custom home, let me show you some of the main Revit features that I use to do that. So here's a bedroom example here. If I wanted to put the bed in the center of that room, I would run a dimension from wall to wall and to the center of the bed. You can see that those numbers are not equal, but when I commit to the dimension, there's an EQ button there. If I click that, it's going to make both of those dimensions the same, therefore putting the bed in the center of the room so that if I grab, and it's locked now, so if I grab that wall and move it uh, down, make the room bigger, that bed is gonna recenter itself constantly. So that's a really important one that I use a lot. The next one is if, let's say I wanted to align that door and that window, maybe when I walk in there's a nice view. If I click the align command, pick the center of the window and the center of the door, they're gonna align with each other. And if I click that lock right there, they're gonna stick together. So if I move that door, you can see that window's gonna stay with it. So whatever that important alignment was, it's not lost. And the third thing is if I wanted to keep a certain distance between two objects, so let's say I have a piece of furniture I wanna put behind the door along that wall, I can click that dimension and click that lock there at two feet, that's gonna lock in that dimension. So if I grab that side wall and move it, it is always going to keep that two feet between the door and the wall. And as you can see, that window's moving with the door because those are locked together also. Now, I do wanna warn you about over-constraining your file. It could really bog down your whole uh, file and really make for an unenjoyable experience. But for early on, if you have some important alignments or important symmetry that you really wanted to maintain throughout the course of your design, I would definitely recommend checking out these Revit features.